So to keep it natural, we're going to use this pencil, which is called Spice. So I'm just warming it up on the back of my hand. It goes on nice and easy. And then just draw. Draw the outline of your lip. And pencils are a great idea because they stop your lipstick bleeding and just give it a really great base. Now with your lips, start by applying the foundation to it and that just helps set it even more and use the pencil all over the lip. It's a lovely soft pencil because even if your lipstick wears off, this will still be there. There we go. A very attractive pose from me, but well, got to be done. Now for lip colour, we're also staying fairly natural, and I'm going to use one of the mineral ones, and this is called Pouty Petal. It's a very lovely, sort of pinky browny colour. Just using a lip brush, pick up some of the lipstick, pop it over the top. Give yourself a very nice coating of that. Now just take your time doing the lips. It's quite important to get it to last. Okay, put a beautiful layer there. Block with a tissue and put on another coat. Then, for extra staying power, take some of your mineral or translucent powder and slick a tiny layer over the top before you put some gloss on. Now for the gloss we're going to use this, which is a moisture care lip colour. It's kind of a gloss and lipstick together. And I want to use this rather than the gloss because it will last a little bit longer. This one is called Ruby Slipper. If I bring it in close, you'll be able to see the sort of colour. There we go. It's all squidged out because I need a lot of it to use with the brush. And I'm going to pop that just in the centre. You don't need very much. And then what I would do is give a tube of this to the bride keep in her handbag, or if she's not wearing one, give it to a bridesmaid or the husband. And finally we move on to blush. This is my favourite mineral blush at the moment. It's called Rose. Taking a contouring brush, pick up a tiny amount, tap it off into there, tap it off, find your cheekbone and just gently stroke some onto the cheekbone to give you that beautiful hint of colour. And this is actually my everyday blusher. I do like it. And just try to keep it along the cheekbone. Don't be tempted to bring it in because it just makes your face look, it will bring it, draw it downwards. Whereas by keeping it high on the cheekbones, you get that beautiful definition. The final thing to do is to add a little bit of glow. So I am using the e.l.f. Here we go. This is the e.l.f. Shimmer Powder. Just tap some into the lid and take a fluffy brush, pick some up, down the nose, just a tiny bit down the nose, tops of the cheekbones, just like this, down the nose, forehead, whatever you want it, wherever you feel you need a bit of extra glow. But there, there, and there are the normal places. Then, for an added bit of 
oomph, take a little bit more of this powder to really bring the lips out. Purse the lips slightly. And pop it in the Cupid's bow. And can you see what that's done? Instantly, it's pushed my lips out. And take it underneath. And even into the corners. Now just give your lips an extra bit of oomph. And make them look even poutier. And here's the final look. All of the products that I use today in this natural bridal look are available from www.eyeslipsface.co.uk. I'll see you soon for more beautiful tutorials from me and my guru friends on the Elf UK channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.